Hey Collective, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing amazing today. This is Earth Angel 111 and we're going to do love messages from your person. So firstly, if you found this message, the major intuitive download I was receiving is just that someone feels a little bit misunderstood by you. Okay, so this person could be acting a little bit distant from you at this moment in time. It's ultimately just because they feel hurt in some type of way or they don't know where you stand in the connection. I feel like there just could be a major lack of communication between you and this person. So it's almost as if they're like looking for subtle clues from you via the way you're acting, the way you're moving, okay? The way you are not speaking to them or if you're posting a lot. Like it's almost as if this person finds it easier to withhold their emotions and just speak what needs to be said and easier just to sit and observe. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with y'all is definitely more of a listener, okay, than they are one of the speakers. So you could be someone in your relationship who leads the way when it comes to communication, and this person finds it easier to withdraw their emotions. So that being said, I'm gonna hop in and pull some love messages. This is Earth Angel 111, welcome. And yeah, let's see what they would say to you, okay? But ultimately, that was just like the intuitive download I received. Wow. So this is your twin flame for a lot of you. First message coming out strong. It says, I can't quite explain how you make me feel other than home. So this is it. Even if you and your person have had some type of miscommunication or a lack of communication, they can't help but feel incredibly drawn to you and your connection. And it could be something that's quite bothering them because they feel like they don't know what you want from this connection. They just know it's very important to them. So yeah, especially at this moment in time, like it's basically Halloween weekend. So this is collective, it'll resonate from whenever you see it. But say for example, you're not together, you don't have plans to be together at any point this weekend. And for some of you, you may even be at a distance from this person, right? So if there is those type of scenarios that affect your connection, your person ultimately feels like, why do I keep feeling pulled back to this person even though things are either at a stalemate or stagnant or you guys haven't really fully pursued your connection. For others of you, you may be in some type of separation. It says earth sign masculine wants you bad, okay? So this could be an earth sign that wants you or vice versa. If you are a masculine watching for a feminine, it could be earth sign feminine. It says you have opened up my eyes to the, li uh, the life I'm living makes me unhappy. So wow, for a lot of you, maybe it's this person that was in another connection or another situationship. So they felt like they could never fully communicate with you how they feel about you. But now it's like upon meeting you and coming to get to know you, this person can't help but stop but think about you and ultimately feels like in some type of sense, the fact is you've opened up their life and made them realize that they may be unhappy in some type of sense. And yeah, it's almost like it's giving them a difficulty in order to communicate to you that this person wants to be with you but they're just not quite sure how to communicate that so next one says may we always make it work despite any silly arguments we may have i cannot handle distance between you and i ever so this is someone who feels like they cannot stand if there's any miscommunications going on between the two of you and you guys could have had some type of disagreement okay or like i said it's almost like there's a lack of communication, so your person could ultimately just be feeling some type of stagnancy, but unwilling to open up and communicate exactly how it is they're feeling. So wow, a love letter came out, and there's only like four of these in the whole box, so it says, My dearest love, have I ever told you how much I knew you were meant to be an important part of my life from the moment I met you? There's just something different about you that no one has ever been able to do and you caught my eye. I want to be in a committed relationship with you. I hope you feel the same. So yeah, this person feels like whatever circumstances they were in, for some of you, it may not be another relationship. It could just be that they were single, focused on their career, focused on moving forward in their life. And then they met you and you just changed everything for them in a way that they don't know how to quite explain it, but they also don't know how to let go of you and this connection and they really feel like if they could, there's so many things that they would change about the way that this relationship has started off. Because for a lot of you, this person is normally someone who loves with their full heart and great intentions. 
and they feel like with you this isn't who they've shown you and so they could feel like for some of you that you may not be fully interested in pursuing them based on the lack of emotional connection they've given you okay so two came out so first one says i only have eyes for you so someone needed the confirmation your person doesn't see anyone else okay maybe they get a lot of attention from other people but it's like regardless they only have eyes for you they only feel connected and drawn to you and they really want to pursue something with you next message says your ability to always listen beautiful so your person quite admires the fact that you are someone who's always open and able to listen to, to their concerns that they may voice or to their opinions and your person really feels like they just need to work up some type of courage to voice to you how it is they're feeling about you and the connection. I feel like it's as if as each day passes and they don't communicate how strongly they feel about you, they almost feel like you're slipping away from them in some type of sense. You could also be someone who receives a lot of attention from others. So before I started this message, a message I pulled and saw was, I get really jealous easily, I'm trying to change. So I feel like for some of you, this could be connected to that, right? Your person feels a sense of uneasiness when they see you flirting with other people because they haven't come in and officially claimed you as their person yet. And this could be something that they feel like is their own fault, but ultimately moving forward, they need to figure out a way to be able to communicate to you how deeply they love you. So always wearing sunglasses. This could be an indication for you. Your person is someone who often wears sunglasses says I kind of like being single see this is exactly where it is so you're dealing with someone who's afraid of losing you but also afraid of commitment this person could be someone who's been single for a long time so they've gotten used to the idea of just doing life on their own and then you came along and you've totally shifted their perspective in a sense that they feel like it wouldn't be so bad to have someone amazing to spend their life with but at the same time, this person has been unwilling to give you the commitment that they know you deserve. They've been following you for years. So wow, this is someone who's known who you are behind the scenes for a long time. Okay, so for example, this, this card represents like social media and that. So this is someone, if you are in the public in any type of sense, okay, whether you are a content creator, an artist, um, a model, an influencer or any type of profession, okay? Maybe this person even knows you friend through a friend. This person's been keeping tabs on you for years and this is something you're unaware of, okay? And this person's been in love with you for years. But this is also someone with, I kind of like being single, who got used to the idea of being behind the scenes, having all these deep feelings for you and never actually expressing them. So I feel like they've almost created some type of safety net around themselves where, they feel more comfortable not expressing to you how much they love you and just loving you from the sidelines, from a distance. But now it could be as well that they see you've either had some recent glow up or change in your life and you have a lot more people interested in you and attracted to you. You could also be receiving a lot more attention lately based on achievements in your life, right? And so this person feels like if they don't step up soon and tell you how much they care about you, they have this fear of losing you to someone else. And for others of you, they just feel like they've been holding in these feelings for so long. It's almost like they need to just let it out. They need to let you go know how you feel. Wow, that just flickered. Did you see that when I said that? So super insecure is here, okay? So you're dealing with someone who may be very much so insecure. Regardless of how they come across to others, this may be something you're unaware of, but when it comes to love, this person has some type of insecurity or fear of rejection and abandonment. So they ultimately, I feel like this is why they like to remain single because they could have had a relationship previously as well where they really opened up their heart to someone and this person ultimately made them feel let down in some type of way. Definitely. So look at this final message says, I feel like I've lost you for good this time. It breaks my heart. So you're dealing with someone who feels like if they came in and out of your life and played games with you or they were non-committal, this person feels like it is their own fault. And now if they don't come towards you soon and let you know, they feel like they've lost their twin flame forever. And this is the thing with twin flames. Twin flames can be really beautiful relationships, but it's up to each person to really figure out how to come together 
because also with twin flames you bring out the most insecurities of yourself right so your person may have a hard time handling this at this moment in time <laughs> 